Hello, my fellow wizards. I come to you today with some not so great news. It's the end of an era, my friends. Our days of endless mega snacks and easy gold are over, all because of one tiny tweak to one unassuming little fish. Yeah, Kingsale just went and nerfed the heck out of the blackberry jellyfish. <gasps> okay, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, here's a quick refresher. The blackberry jellyfish has long been a staple in the Wizard 101 economy, acting as both an easy gold farming method as well as being a key ingredient in the recipe for golden wheat bread, a mega snack many pet hatchers rely on to speed up the pet training process. Up until now, the blackberry jellyfish was easily caught in the Arrow Village and more recently in the Sky City Estates, both of which can be accessed through housing tours, allowing players to quickly build up a store of them, especially during such membership benefits as zero energy fishing. These blackberry jellyfish could then be sold for between 4,000 to 8,000 gold a pop, or be crafted with minimal effort into hundreds of golden wheat bread mega snacks. Now you're getting why these fish are so important to people. She'll call him Squishy and he shall be mine, and he shall be my Squishy. Come here, Squishy! So, what changed? The gist of it is that King's Isle Overnight seems to have tweaked the fish that can be caught in both the Arrow Village and Sky City Estates to include additional fish such as the Ice and Fire School fish while reducing the number of blackberry jellyfish that spawn. Looking into the wiki for both these houses, you can see that historically, neither of these fish were part of the fishing table, so this is definitely a recent change. In both houses, the standard method to quickly whittle down the number of fish to find the blackberry jellyfish easily was to use spells like Winnow Rank 2 fish or Winnow Ice fish. Any remaining fish left in the water would then have a very high chance of being a blackberry jellyfish. You could then resummon the fish in the pool, rinse, and repeat for endless amounts of jellyfish. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> However, this is now no longer the case. I first heard about this nerf from Reddit and people commenting on some of my YouTube videos in which I have previously highlighted the benefit of these fish, so I decided to test these changes out myself. And the results are not good. While I am definitely not a statistician, I tried to go about testing the changes consistently so I would have a decent sample size to look at. First, I headed to Arrow Village, where I resummoned the fish in the pool five times, or in other words, depleted all the fish in the pool by catching and then refreshed the pool with new fish. After refreshing the pool, I also used Winnow Rank 2 to reduce the pool down to just Rank 2 fish, since this has been the standard method for catching blackberry jellyfish in the past. In those five rounds of fishing, I caught 24 fish. Of those 24, 10 were fire school fish, 13 were ice school fish, and at the end of it all, I caught only one singular, very sad, blackberry jellyfish. As a reminder, this was after using well over 100 energy and refreshing the pool five times. Essentially, instead of Winnow Rank 2 clearing the fish out to reveal the blackberry jellyfish spawns, now you just get tons and tons of the new fish King's Isle added to these pools, the Fire and Ice School fish, both of which are Rank 2, making the Winnow Rank 2 spell useless now. But that's okay, I thought to myself. There's still the Sky City Estates, right? Right? I went back into housing tours, found myself a nice Sky City Estates home, and used the same method as in the Arrow Village. I refreshed the fish five times, used Winnow Rank 2 to weed out the fishing pools, and I also did use Winnow Ice Fish as well, since I was sick of catching the new Rank 2 Fire School fish. Here are my results. In five rounds of fishing, I caught a total of 18 fish. 15 were Ice School fish, 2 were Cranky Catfish, and again, a whopping one Blackberry Jellyfish was caught for all of my trouble. Bad news, folks. It looks like this method of earning gold or crafting mega snacks is out for the foreseeable future with these changes. With the ice school fish taking up so many of the spots in the pools, your chance of narrowing down to just the blackberry jellyfish is greatly reduced and you will need a ton more time and energy to catch the right fish. This is incredibly disappointing because up until now, this method has been one of the most effective and accessible ways of making money and getting mega snacks in the game. You don't need a membership to visit houses and housing tours and to fish, so this is a great option for free-to-play players or people between membership to spend their time, and was also available to low-level wizards who don't yet have access to later worlds and bosses where they can get larger amounts of gold and mega snacks. Without this option, players are essentially forced to fall back on previous tedious methods of farming for resources such as Halfing and Winter Tusk for gold, running dungeons like Mirror Lake for mega snacks. However, many of these other methods are locked behind paywalls or level requirements, which makes them feasible options only for higher level players who have membership or who have bought the necessary areas with crowns. You shall not pass! There are some options left available to lower level wizards like gardening to get gold and snacks, but I think we can agree that King's Isle should be giving players more options to gain resources in the game, not less. Without gold and mega snacks, many players have a much harder time participating in activities such as raising pets, which can be a key component of many PvE and PvP builds. 
Overall, this is an incredibly frustrating change that will negatively affect a lot of players, many of whom are low level or don't have membership at the moment, and to a degree, this feels like King's Isle is potentially removing this option to force players to pay to get into higher level areas, to farm certain bosses or dungeons, or make them feel like they need to buy mega snacks or the gold bundles from the crown shop to reduce the grind of earning those resources. I really hope that if this change is intended to be permanent, the King's Isle is planning on making new options available for getting resources for all players, regardless of level or membership status. If not, this just feels like another attempt to limit our choices in a game which desperately needs to prioritize player choice and accessibility in order to continue to thrive. Alright my fellow wizards, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll be leaving several video resources in the description to help players find alternative options for mega snacks and early gold farming, so check those out if you want some extra help. As always, I hope to see you out there in the spiral, and happy questing!